Hey guys, my name is Gary. I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic and drug addict and um, got a little cold tonight, but um, had a cold for a few days. Um, going into the holidays, uh, today is the 22nd. So tomorrow is Friday the 23rd. Christmas Eve is Saturday the 24th. And then Christmas Day. <coughs> is uh excuse me is um here comes my cat christmas uh, day will be sunday the 25th so i'm just going to talk about so my personal experience having a sober holiday or going into a sober holiday um it'd be my first sober christmas in many years in 10 or 11 years you know um i'm not sure exactly but you know, I had 10 years of sobriety, and then when I I went out for 10 years, so I've been out for 10 or 11 years, and um, my cat's, he's doing his deal now. I hear him scratching on the box. Um, so, uh, I, <clears throat> the way I'm going to stay sober, okay, through the holidays, and I learned this from a friend through Thanksgiving, because I was... This is not only just my first sober holiday, okay? This is, uh, I lost my son four months ago, my middle son, Brandon, to an accidental fentanyl overdose. And um, so it'll be my first Christmas, uh, our family's first Christmas without um, my son and uh, my ex-wife's son and, and um, my two, my two other sons, you know, they're, they're going to go through this without their, their brother. And, uh, last Christmas I, I was, you know, I think about it. I'm so grateful that I spent last Christmas with my son and, and it was kind of a freak thing that I did that because my son was living in, uh, New Jersey at the time. And I, I had no intention of spending the holiday with him. It was just another holiday, um, you know, that, w that we were going to have. And, um, you know, I was out driving trucks. Um, you know, I was, I was driving a, my, uh, three quarter ton Dodge, Dodge Ram and I had a 40 foot trailer and I was doing, you know, just like a trucker would do, but I was, they call it hot shot trucking. And that's what I was doing. And I remember picking an, uh, I picked up a vehicle in uh where the hell did i pick up the vehicle i picked up a vehicle in uh uh where was i uh somewhere north of i mean it was it was um god i can't believe i, I can't think of the name but anyways it was uh, oh in maine so i picked up a vehicle in maine it was uh like a mercedes-benz uh van so I, I picked up the van and then I did, I, I just didn't have enough time to make my next stop, which was like in Chicago or something like that to pick up another, uh, vehicle and then drive to California and drop them both off. So I'm, I, uh, I had time to kill through the holiday and I just, you know, I had to go, you know, through that part of the country. And I was like, hey, Brandon, you want to spend Christmas together? And we, we weren't sober. You know, I wasn't sober. and um, But we got to spend Christmas uh, night or Christmas Eve and Christmas night together. We went to uh, Little Italy and everything was closed down because of the fucking bullshit pandemic thing. And... Um, we went to Little Italy for dinner and they, everything shut down. It was like only like 9, 30, 10 o'clock and everything was closed or closing. And we couldn't get a table anywhere. So we ate at some little cafe. And, uh, you know, it was, we got to spend some time together. And um, it wasn't the greatest, you know, uh, holiday. But, you know, because we were doing what we do, you know, we, you know. Um, we were so much alike, we rarely got along, and, 
um, we were both on our best behavior, just trying to get along, and he was a little grumpy. And I remember on the way after dinner, you know, we uh, we went back. Uh, I was dropping him off at home, and he's like, "Yeah, can you get me some beer?" And I'm like, "Yeah, fine, well, you know, I'll get you some beer." So I got him some beers and uh, dropped him off, and we we're on his on our way back, and I made him crack up laughing. You know? And uh, I don't know what I said, but something stupid, you know. I had to be witty and. And with him, and um, as a little kid, I could always make him laugh. And but he got tough when, as he was got older, you know, he got a little tougher to make laugh. But I was able to do it, and I think of that, and it makes me smile. It brings joy to my heart. Um, and then we spent Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, uh, Christmas evening together. Uh, he wanted to go to a little place in. Uh, in uh, New Jersey, and we went to a little place in New Jersey, you know, and uh, had had dinner together and had a few drinks together, and um, I did see him after that. I saw him about a month later or so. I think it was in February, actually. I saw him for the last time. So then uh, I got the news that he had overdosed four months ago. Um, three and a half months ago, and I had four months of sobriety at the time. And um, I've, if you subscribe to my channel, please, um, you'll see. You know, my first video is the, the day I lost my son, and uh, you know, so now I'm going into the holidays without him. So I went into Thanksgiving, you know, and I I started to get in into on my pity pot and just being sad and everything like that, and. I had a friend suggest, hey, make a plan, da, 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 da. you're going to do this, 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 whatever it is, read a book, whatever. So what we did was uh, Thanksgiving Day, we I went to my friend's house with her and her husband and her, her little kid, and we made um, a bunch of sandwiches and stuff and packed bags, uh, sandwich bags for the homeless. And then we went out and fed the homeless. And then I went to my ex-wife's house for dinner. And it was a great, you know, one, it was a great Thanksgiving, one I'll probably remember to forever, you know. And I got through it and thought very little about being sad and morose and um, depressed or anything like that. It was, I was able to stay, be, be present um, because I'm, I'm sober, you know. So if you want to stay sober for the holidays, make a plan. Make several plans, little plans, even if it's like, you know, I'm going to read a book or I'm going to hit the gym, then I'm going to do this, then I'm going to, and stick to the schedule. And you can uh, d deviate from your schedule. I mean, schedules are made to, to just give us some kind of guidance, you know, and a plan and, you know, deviate from your plan as, as needed, right? As long as it's not like, you know, to the liquor store or, you know, to the bar or whatever, or to the Coke dealer's house. Um... So I'm in Austin, Texas right now, and, and, the, and the weather dipped, and it, it is cold right now. It's they're gonna, They said it's going to be like single digits tonight, maybe like two, three, four degrees, and the wind is howling right now. And it's uh, 6 p.m. I've been sick. I, I did about six hours at work today, seven hours, and, and came home and took a nap. And um, So here's my plan. Okay, um, tomorrow is Friday, the 23rd. I'm going to go in, uh, and I get paid tonight at, you know, 2 or 3 in the morning. My check will go into the bank. So I'm going to do some shopping tomorrow. And I want to get my kids something, and, and they're girls, you know. Um, my oldest son, Chase, is um, he, he's got a fiancé and a little baby, and I get to do some shopping. And uh, I'm going to go, you know, down to Congress, South Congress Avenue and maybe hit a couple stores. And um, then I'm going to get on, on Amazon and spend some money on my kids, you know, and um, stay positive. And when my, if my head starts to wander and get negative, I'll be at a meeting, right? Um, I'm, I will probably hit a meeting this weekend, but... So tomorrow I'm going to, I'm going to do about, I'm going to try to do half, three quarters of a day. It's probably going to be a light day, you know, and, and cut out of there. 
a little bit early. Don't tell my boss, okay? <laughs> and um, do some shopping. And then uh, Saturday will be Christmas Eve. Now, Christmas Eve, um, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm, I'm, when I get done making this video, I'm going to make a plan. Um, one of my sons, my youngest son, Tori, and his girl, uh, Taylor, will be in town. So I'm making a dinner reservation for Christmas Eve somewhere, somewhere, you know, kind of laid back, you know, it's not real pricey or anything like that. But um, I'm gonna also do some sh Christmas shopping um, on Friday, all, or uh, Saturday also on Christmas Eve. Um, maybe online shopping or, um, and probably hit a meeting. Uh, text just came in okay um then i'm gonna go to dinner with them and i'm gonna dress up and uh, put on a nice pair of boots and um, a nice sports coat and some nice jeans nice shirt sports coat and go to dinner and maybe give them some gifts and then on christmas day <laughs> I want to hit a meeting in the morning. I never go to morning meetings, but on Christmas Day, I want to hit a morning meeting. I am always up early. And then I want to hit my... So I want to hit a morning meeting on Christmas Day, a local meeting that I walk into. And then I'm going to hit a uh, the 7 a.m. in Laguna Beach, California. They have a 7 a.m. morning meeting. I was a, I was a part of that morning meeting for almost 10 years. So I know a few people still, and that they do an online meeting. So it'll be 9 a.m. here. I will have just gotten out of that meeting, and I want to say hi to some friends. And so I'm going to do a meeting online, and I'll share if I can, you know, or whatever. Um, and <clears throat> then just spend the day with my dog and um, get ready to have a nice dinner with my, my son and his girl again. Um, I, and I picked an expensive restaurant. I made this reservation already. It's at a Brazilian steakhouse and we'll go to dinner and, um, you know, they'll have a few drinks, I'm sure. And it doesn't bother me. You know, it's, it says in, in the book that I follow is this one right here. Okay. Alcoholics Anonymous. And it says in the book, we can go, you know, as long as we've done work, the steps and everything, and we have a good reason for being there. We can go wherever we want to go, right? And I have a good reason for being there. I'm taking my son and his girl out to a nice Christmas dinner and, you know, let them get a buzz. That's cool. I, it doesn't bother me one bit. And um, it's never, when I'm working this program, it's never bothered me. Uh, when, when I'm in the middle of working the program, it's never bothered me to watch somebody else take a drink. So, uh then I've got Monday off, and I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do Monday, okay? Um, probably take a nice walk. Here, I can commit to this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a nice long walk with my dog, Bo, and uh, hit another AA meeting. So, it's, it's, I've got, a, a, you know, some things to do. I've got Christmas shopping and two nice dinners to go to and spend time with family and i would suggest if you don't have family to be around and you're tr and you're sober and you're new to this thing like i am hit a meeting man usually a lot of these clubs you know um like i used like i was talking about the canyon club in california laguna beach california they always have something going on like christmas eve or christmas day you know um and there's you know several Usually, uh, 100, 200 people go through there, or maybe even more. You know, it's a big place. Or, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on here in, in Austin, Texas, you know, as far as AA stuff at the club. I haven't heard of anything, but, you know, like Thanksgiving, they had a little, you know, uh, Thanksgiving dinner thing that people, you know, they usually open a club up for a few hours, and then people can come in, have dinner, and it's, um, you know, usually potluck kind of stuff. But uh, look online, man. Get involved. Get involved if you're sober. Nobody wants to be home sober alone on the holidays. 
I mean, that, that makes for some good drinking. And um, anytime you're lonely and sober, um, I don't know what kind of feelings I'm going to go through. You know, I've lost my son. So I know it hurts right now as I talk about it. I feel a pain. It's like a tugging on my heartstrings. It's not that intense, excruciating pain. But, uh, you know, every once in a while I'll sit here and I'll think about him and I'll go, man, I can never see him again. Man, I, I just, I would love to talk to him right now. But you know what is funny? And I, and I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I'm not bullshitting you people. I feel my son's presence a lot. And today, I was driving on the freeway, and I often do this, whether it's in my bedroom, on the freeway, at work, or whatever. Like, I'll step outside at work, and the window blow or something like that, and I'll look at, like, the clouds, and, the, and I feel his presence. And I go, hey, son, how are you? And I'll hear him say, hey, pops, how are you? Today, I heard him say that. And I, not out here. Not, I didn't hear it like you're hearing me right now. It was inside. And I heard, I heard his voice. And I said, I miss you, Brandon. And he says, I miss you too, Pops. I love you. And um, I heard that, you know. So well, I'm not going to make this. I'm not going to get dark on you and shit like that. Because it, it's the holidays. And I'm going to stay positive. But I can embrace those those moments. And know that um he's out there somewhere you know he may be right here listening to me right now i i don't know but i do feel his presence quite often and i talk to him quite often so that's how i'm getting through my holidays sober you guys and um you know make a plan uh talk to god Talk to the ones that, if you're missing a loved one, talk to the ones you miss. You never know. You might hear back from them like I heard from my son, Brandon. And it's, you know, it's hard to do sometimes. And it, and I, and it brings me to tears sometimes, like it almost just did right now. But it's fucking worth it, man. It's worth it because those are tears of sadness and joy. You know, I'm communicating still with my son. You know, somebody said... Many years ago when I lost a loved one, I, my sponsor told me, he said, relationships never end. They just change. And if you think about it, that's true. My relationship with my son changed forever that day. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> but um, it changed, and the way I communicate with him changed. And the way he communicates with me changed. But we're still communicating. So, Merry Christmas, you guys. I'll check in with you maybe over the weekend, maybe in a day or so, maybe on Christmas Eve. I don't know. You never know. Uh, maybe I'll be wearing a Santa hat. I doubt it. Subscribe. But, um, yeah. Have a safe, happy, and sober holiday. Make sure you have a plan. And be healthy with yourself. Don't. Don't go down that dark alley alone. You know, uh, holidays are tough. You know, um, bring God into the holidays with you. I'm going to bring mine. I already have. I've already started. And uh, I'll check back in with you, you guys. Merry Christmas.